Hello everybody. In this video I thought I'd go over my uh, research and development of my hand pieces from when I got started to where I'm at now. And this was the first hand piece I made. I had never seen or held a hand piece so what I knew of hand pieces I had learned from uh, Sean Hughes and just looking at pictures on the internet and this thing is a monster and one thing I want you to note is that just because it's big doesn't mean it's bad it uh, it doesn't work very well and the reason is it's just too big now if you had a bigger uh, compressor modified compressor it would probably work just fine and it would be uh, it would be heavy hitting and it's got a, a huge piston which bigger's not always better and this piston weighs in at 18 grams if you can see that I don't know if you can see that or not but that piston weighs 18 grams and the pistons that I'm making these days are right at Oh, around three, three and a half grams, somewhere in there, and they just, they do really good. And so this was my first attempt at a hand piece with the uh, homemade hand engraver, because I had, I had built the box, and it just didn't work, it just, just didn't work very well, so that was the first one. Then I, I kind of scaled it down a little bit as you can see but the it's still a pretty big handpiece but this size it works and it will engrave it's just a little bit bigger than I'm making now So it does work, and the handpiece, let's see where we're at here. This one weighed 7, seven ounces. That's a 7 ounce handpiece, and the ones I'm making now weigh 2.9 ounces, give or take. Right around, right around there. So this worked, but it too had uh, had some, it was a little bit too big, and I was trying to find something closer to the, uh, what I'm doing now, where you can make it out of a bolt. And this has a rather heavy, it has a 13 gram, so 18 to a 13 gram. The 13 gram works, but it's just not as efficient as a lighter as a lighter piston and I made a multitude of these things and gave a few away and let people try them out but they're just that was in the beginning stages and I've made them out of other materials this one is uh, brass I've made them out of brass uh, this I believe was uh, I think that's bronze that that one's made out of and I've got some uh, Aluma bronze but the brass is easy to work with and it's easy to cut threads with a die so you can make these out of brass and they hold up they'll they'll do the job and these are the ones that I'm making now this has the three I believe the 375 bore and I'm down to a 350 now. It gives me a little more wall thickness. This has a, an adapter. It was another something else I'd tried. Sean kept saying he wanted a way to fine tune these things. So I put a little screw in the back of it off center. And I put these... Uh, I put this little spacer back here to where this can be fine-tuned but you really don't need it it was just something to play with it works and you can fine-tune it but it's really unnecessary because it tunes just as easy by hand and 
pretty much they've stayed this style. I've gone with the larger handle. This is the one I made on the drill press, and it works. It's it uh, it'll engrave. Yeah, this was the one that I made on the drill press. It's not pretty, but uh, it, it'll get the job done. What am I missing the piston? Something's not right. I said, yep, I robbed, robbed the piston out of this one to use in something else. So, sure which one of these so I'll just give up on that for now I think I've used it in something else and I'm gonna get to that in a minute but this one works just fine like I said nothing's it's got odd angles and the holes weren't drilled uh, perfectly square with the uh, with the barrel but it still works and then I've tried an even smaller one this has got like a three 66 diameter on it and it's a quarter inch hole all the way through so if if uh, your tool holder comes out it's gonna spit it'll spit the uh, the piston out and the piston only weighs one gram in this as you can see this is a pretty small hand piece and it works it just doesn't have the power that the uh, the ones I'm building now that I've settled on have but it, it works it just doesn't like I said it doesn't have the power if you're doing very light engraving it probably work just fine but I don't know why you'd need it these do everything you need them to do these just have smaller handles on them. I don't have any uh, with the larger handles. All those have been distributed. Now what I've done today, I wanted to show you real quick here, is I made one out of plastic. Now these the, the plastic is, oh, I don't know if it's nylon or Teflon, but it's, uh, it's something along that. But it machines like plastic. And... Uh, Let's see what it'll do. Well, it seems to work just as good as any of the other ones. Let's try some engraving. So, there's a little block here. Let's see if I can zoom in some. Get it over here in the middle. And see what this plastic handpiece is capable of doing. Now I was able to throw this together and shoot less than an hour. So I mean talk about easy to work with. You know you could probably do this on a drill press too. Like I said it doesn't have to be these dimensions but very easy to work with and it should hold up for quite a while. Let's see what it'll do. definitely engraves pretty deep cut so uh, pretty much I just wanted to show you you can almost make these things out of anything now this should hold up who knows how long it'll hold up. It should do just fine. I guess I could give it to somebody and let them tell me how long the thing lasts. If anybody's interested in this and wants to engrave with it, let me know. I may send it to you for free. You can explain what you're going to do with it. And, uh... Maybe you'd be the one to find out how long it lasts because I don't do a lot of engraving. Like I said, I've been busy doing my other uh, projects and I'm finally getting caught up. 
but I wanted to let everybody know I'm going to try to get back into making a few more of these things and uh, I'm going to try some different materials and experiment and see what else I can come up with. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.